In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a professional looking Facebook cover art in Canva. Then I'll show you how you can upload it to your Facebook profile. So join me and let's get started. So first you want to go to canva.com and once you're here, you can go to the search bar and just type in here Facebook. Then it should auto fill what they have and what templates you can use. If Facebook cover art isn't there, just type in Facebook cover. And here you can see this is the one that you're looking for Facebook cover. Go ahead and click on that and it will then give you some templates. Now by default, there are 25,000 templates, but if you want the free ones and you don't have a Canva Pro subscription, go to all filters, then you can scroll down and click free. And now you've got 4,994 available and you can choose any of these. Now, depending on what niche or what your target audience is, it's obviously going to depend on which one you choose, right? Do you want a very simple one? Do you want one that can have your profile picture on? Maybe you want more of a marketing corporate look. Maybe you want like a blogging look, but you can go ahead and choose whichever you want. I'm going to go for this video. We're going to go with this white minimalistic one. So we can go ahead and click on this and then you can see the cover art in full and we can then go ahead and click customize this template. Now I do recommend that you choose a template instead of designing from scratch because Canva's cover arts are actually really good and you can edit pretty much everything in here. So here we are inside of the cover art. Now this is going to be the correct dimension so don't have to worry about that. Now everything that you see on the screen here you can edit. So if we hover over this rectangle we can click on it, we can make this bigger. We can also change the color up here. So maybe we wanna change the color to a nice green. You can also choose the Canva gradients if they're any use to you. But we'll choose here this orange color. So I'm gonna also select this bottom rectangle and we're going to make this orange as well. And you can see document colors. These are the colors that which we've recently used and our orange is here as well. So because this is Canva, we can obviously edit all of our text here. We can edit the images. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload my own image and replace it here. So to edit this image, what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and click upload. And here you can upload your own file or your own photo. So click upload files, and then you can upload your own photo of yourself from your computer. Alternatively, if you don't have one, you can go ahead and go to elements on Canva and you can just search for something. But obviously, if you're uploading this to Facebook, you probably want a profile picture of yourself and not Canva's stock photos. So I'm going to go to the upload section and I already have a picture of myself uploaded and anything that you upload will be in the uploads section, including images, video and audio. So here I'm on images and here's a picture of myself, which I'm just going to drag on. And you can see when you drag it on, it kind of like snaps to place, which is a great feature of Canva. OK, so there is my image added on. Now, I don't like this dotted line and I'm pretty sure we can remove it. So you just want to go ahead and select it. And then here you can see we can change the color of that. So I'm going to change the color to black. OK, so now we've got that all sorted. Now what we can do, we can go ahead and change the text and because we've got a lot of white space here, which I'm going to change. So you can see this text box and this text box are different. They're two different fonts. And for some reason, they've created two different text box. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this one and we'll just keep the one text box. And then if I double click, I can then type out whatever I want here. So I just type Bradley Harrison. And then with the text typed out, you can drag the text box here and you can also highlight all of your text. And then up here, you've got all of your text tools, which you can go ahead and use. So we can increase the font size and we can also change the font. So I'm going to change it to kind of like a bold font. We'll change it to this Archivo Black. And then again, we'll just resize this. OK, so that is looking OK for me. You can then move this around, obviously, wherever you want. So we're going to keep this as it is. It's not looking the greatest, but we'll run with that for the video. Now, if you click on it and highlight it all. And by the way, the quickest way to highlight it all is hold Control A once you've got it selected. You can also change the color as well. And you've got your spacing and alignment here, which you can choose. Now I'm going to customize the second text and I'm just going to put here Internet Marketer. Then we're going to go ahead and drag this text so it lines up. We can use the arrow keys as well to move the text to get a more precise position. So now I'm just going to make this text bigger and then we can make this centered. OK, so I'm going to delete any other text and we're just going to leave it at this, I think. 
What I am going to make use of is the elements in Canva. So if you go ahead and go to elements, you can see you've got all of these different shapes and graphics that you can use. You can even generate AI images with that AI image generator. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom here, you can just go through these and you've got all of these different abstract stickers and things that you can use. Also, another thing that might be useful for you for your designs is if you go to apps, you can go ahead and discover different apps here, including like reflection apps. You've got AI images gradient generators and you can go ahead and open and use these apps to make your designs better for me though we'll just go to elements and i'm going to drag on this shape and we can make this bigger by going up here and just increasing the line width here okay so this looks okay we'll line it with the text and i'm going to change the color of this line to blue and like any design software, you're going to have to take a minute to actually, you know, put your ideas in your brain onto the actual screen. So, you know, be patient with it so you can create a design which looks good. I'm not 100% happy with this, but we're going to roll with it for the video. I'm also going to go to the AI image generator. We'll open this and we'll get the AI image generator to generate me an image of money icon, watercolor, generate image, and we'll see what Canva can give us. Then I'll show you how you can upload this to Facebook. Okay, so we're gonna run with this one for the video. So I'll just drag this on. And I don't love this design. It's not exactly amazing, is it? But it gets the job done and I think it's all right. This is the thing with Canva. You need to have an idea in your head and you need to be able to execute it. Now, once you've created your design, and obviously this is gonna depend on what template you choose. If you choose a very easy to replace template, you can just replace that elements. I'm gonna go now to share in the top right hand corner and we can go ahead and download this as a PNG file. So click download. Now that will download to your computer into your download section. So now from here, you wanna go to Facebook and go ahead and click on your profile icon in the top right, then go to your Facebook name. Now from here, you can go ahead and click add cover photo upload photo, then go to your downloads and choose your template you've just downloaded. Then you can go ahead and save those changes. And just like that, you've now created your cover photo and that's pretty much all you've got to do. So that's how you can design a cover photo on Canva and use it and upload it to Facebook.